presentation of Retro Sports Network, home of the champions of the past, present, and or future. And, well, it's technically still morning here at 11.59. Good afternoon, everybody. My name is Ron Juckett. Welcome to the program for this 30th day of March 2021. It's 1949 All-Star Week. We'll do that in prime time for you live Wednesday at 8 on twitch.tv slash Retro Sports Network. So you get hockey, hockey this week in the lunchtime spots today from de December 15th, 1988. The Montreal Canadiens go to Lake Colisee. And hopefully we'll beat up, I mean, uh, hopefully we'll, well, they'll play. Hopefully we'll beat up on Le Nordique. It's Joe Sackick's rookie year, by the way. So it's the Habs and the Nords today. 49 All-Star game in prime time, 8 o'clock tomorrow night. And then Thursday at noon, the Habs and the Rangers from December 17th from the form in Montreal. And so with all that, let's get to it. It's hockey time right here on Retro Sports Network. And you'll be happy to know that the CBS banner and I had a fight today. Woke up this morning and saw that the wall was kind of bare. Wasn't quite sure why. And half the banner got knocked down, but Sarah tacked it back up for me. Sweetheart that she is. Okay, so let's get to it. The Habs and the Nords from the Coliseum. Montreal comes into this one 23-10-1. And, and we're playing on December 15th. Thursday, 10 days before Christmas. You can go to Eaton's where your value is guaranteed or the Bay for your Christmas shopping needs up in the province of Quebec. The Nords are 13, 17, and 2 and I believe in 4th place in the NHL's Adams Division. Starting lineups tonight for the Habs. Bobby Smith will of course get the shot on the first line. 14 goals, 27 assists. Matt Nasland 16 goals and 25 assists. And Mike Keane who doesn't get a lot of assists. He's got 11 goals, but he's not the quarterback by any stretch. He's got 16 points on the year. Chris Chelios, 83 penalty minutes, and this is game number 35 for the Habs. In five fights, 33 points. And Larry Robinson, a goal and 13 assists. And in the pipes, the future Colorado Avalanche Stanley Cup winner, Patrick Wah, and his 2-6-0 goals against average and a save percentage of 914 for Quebec. <coughs> Make sure you swallow when you breathe in deeply, Ronnie. Peter Stasny at center, 15 goals, 20 assists. Gaetan Duchesne, 2 goals and 5 assists, gets the start on the left wing. And the Pedubner, Walt Pedubny, 16 goals and 13 assists, 43 penalty minutes. None of these line mates are going to be contesting the Lady Bing for sure. Robert Picard is on the left defense, 5 goals and 7 assists. Jeff Brown. Nine goals and 22 assists, and Bob Mason gets the start for on the points. Nords, a goals against average of 250, and the save percentage of 897. And with all that, Bobby Smith and Peter Stasny at center. And we are underway at the Colisee. Smith wins a face-off, moves it forward to Nasla. Nasla's going to get a quick wrister left side. He shoots. Mason gives up the rebound. In fact, he, that was hit so hard, he deflected it out of play. So hopefully next week, we can actually do the Monday through Thursday schedule. As... We restart the baseball replay in earnest next Tuesday. Bobby Smith, uh, no ch uh, changes for the Nords. Gillis, Kimball, and Lata, the forwards, Finn and Lecision on the D. Who they are, I don't know. But Smith hopes to draw this one back. He does. It goes to Keane. Keane behind the net now. Goes along the wall of Chelios. Chelios has it between the dots. Slaps it. Mason with a save. And we'll do it again. No changes for the Habs. There's Joe Sekic at center with Jarvi and Michelle Goulet on the wings. Moeller, not your tooth, 
the left D, and Mario Marwa, the right D, for the Nordiques. 54 seconds into this one, and Bobby Smith will win the faceoff. Chelios now, and trying to feed Naslin up the left wall. He does. Naslin skates out, long shot. Wines and fires, and Joe Sekic with the block. Muller's got it. Quebec clears all the way behind the net, and Montreal will change for the first time in the game. Telio starts the rush. Montreal changes. McPhee now loses it at center to second. Now Jarvie dumps it around second. Moeller, Goulet, and Goulet loses the puck, and Mike Lawler will have it. And so Montreal tries the other way. Carboneau has it. Carboneau, the second line skinner. Bri center. Brian Scrudland, by the way, is still out. They're passing around. Now Carboneau's got it again behind the net. McPhee is open on the left. And try and feed McPhee. McPhee with a quick shot. He shoots, and Mason saw that all the way. And we'll get a face off. So three shots for the Montreal and none for Quebec. Third line on for Montreal tonight. Bob Ganey, Ryan Walter, and Russ Cortnell. And on defense, Craig Ludwig and Donald Dufresne. We think for Quebec. Fortier. Anton Stasny, Jackson, and the defensive pairing of Finn and LeCision. So Ganey at center tonight against Peter Stasny. And Ganey wins the faceoff. Ganey has it now behind the net. Nobody really open. So they'll t cycle it around until they can. Now Ganey again behind the net. Still no one really open. They cycle it around a second time around. Ganey again. Still nobody open because Court knows behind the net. And trying to feed Dufresne, he's going to cross ice pass. Dufresne actually will get a shot. He, Duchesne with a block. Duchesne has it, and here come the Nords the other way. Duchesne dumps it around for Peter Stasny. Now to Pudubny, first line on. Pudubny going to take a long shot from the circle. Ludwig got a piece of that over to Cortnall. And the Canadians put on the fourth line. Four minutes gone, no score. Dufresne dumps it around for Riche to Thibodeau over the line. Delayed penalty coming up on the Nords. Thibodeau deflected by Corson wide, and someone will Kimba will touch it. Quebec penalty to Stephen Finn. Two minutes for cross checking. Time of the penalty: four minutes five seconds. So the first power play in the game belongs to Montreal on the cross-check by Finn, Stephen Finn. Montreal, 15th in the NHL on the power play at um, 20%. That's not great. Quebec, 13th on the kill at 77%. So the computer's telling us Gillis and Duchesne, the forwards for the Nords, with LeCision and Moeller to kill it. Smith, Stefan Riche, and Mats Nasland. The forwards for Montreal, Larry Robinson and Mike Lawler on the blue line. Gillis and Smith on the faceoff, won by Bobby Smith. Now Naslin to Riche. They play tic-tac-toe. Riche is going to penetrate on LeCision. Or try to, anyway. He stick handles and LeCision knocked him off the puck. Quebec will try and clear it. Gillis dumps it all the way down. Lawler has it. And Montreal, 40 seconds in the power play, starts it for rush number two. The Nords change Riche over to Naslin. Takes Lawler back out on the blue line. Lawler will shoot. He gets a shot on the mix, and that's a rebound out of play. And Naslin is being helped off the ice. So fresh players on... The ice for both teams. It'll be Carbono, Courtnell, and Claude Lemieux. And we think Joe Sackick and Michelle Goulet. No relation to Robert. LeCision and Moeller still on defense for the Nords. And 44 seconds left on the cross check to Stephen Finn. Carbono and Sackick on the face off. Won by Carbono. Courtnell 
Pichelios back to Cortinal up on the left wing side. Just outside the circle. Scores! Russ Cortinal, his sixth of the year. Montreal power play goal by Russ Cortinal, his sixth of the season, assisted by a number 24, Chris Shelios, and by Guy Carboneau. Time of the goal, 5 minutes 36 seconds. Well, Cortinal got that from Chelios and just ripped it over Bob Mason's shoulder. And, of course, as soon as Gardner comes in, Montreal scores. As soon as you join the room. Mm, another concerned sub. So... One nothing. Cortinal just ripped that one, and that's a six since the trade from Toronto. Chelios, his twenty seventh assistant. Carbono, his thirteenth. And so third line on, Genie, Cortinal, and Walter, and we think with forty year Anton Stasny and Jackson, Picard, and Brown. So one nothing. Montreal scores on their first power play of the game. Fortier wins the faceoff. Now Finn. Lecision, Lecision clears it out. And Montreal will start the rush. Dufresne. Ganey. Dumps it around for Walter. Back to Ganey. He shoots. Misses everything high and right. Fortier has got it. Let's see what Quebec can do. Jackson behind the net. Starts the rush. But loses it at center to Bob Ganey. 13-31, first period. Walter over the line to Dufresne. Now Ganey. Walter behind the net. He's got Cortinal cross ice to the right. And that bounced over a stick. No pass. And Quebec will change. And so will Montreal. Fourth line coming out for the Habs. Sacking to Goulet. Over the line. Michel Goulet. Right wing side. Top of the circle, misses high and right. Didn't hit anything. Chelios has got it. They clear it out, but only to center. Picard, not Jean-Luc. Has it. Now to Brown. Dumps it around for Podubny. To Peter Stasny at the point. Stasny couldn't find it. And Montreal will take over. Quebec does not have a shot in the first seven and a half minutes. Chelios, Richet down the line. Dumps it around for Thibodeau. Now to Richet on a scoring chance. Top of the circle, right side. Wines and fires, and that misses left. And now back to Thibault. Thibault, Thibodeau, rebound. Mason with a save. And we'll have a TV timeout for you. 12 3 to go. First period. Statler and Waldorf wearing Boston Bruins jerseys today. The score, Montreal 1, Quebec nothing. And you'll like it. Are we on a power play? Oh, I don't have, um, Nasland. So, Hummer SUV and would knock off Immigrant Song playing in the background, okay? And, yep, no shots against Montreal on this channel. Shocked. Yeah. Yeah. Seven other games going on tonight in the NHL. We start at the Garden in Boston. Edmonton and Boston scoreless in the first period. Toronto, New Jersey scoreless in the first period at Brendan Byrne. And on the island, Pittsburgh and the Islanders are scoreless. The ticker is so cool. So brought to you by DigitalDice.com, the best darn podcast on the web. For your sports and replay needs. We're going to be interviewing the creator of On Deck Baseball tomorrow. This week on the show. So, Rishi, Smith, and Keene out there with Gillis, Lotta, and Kimball. Chelios and Robinson on defense with Muller and Marwa for the Nords. And the faceoff is won by Montreal. Chelios to Keene. Wants to feed Rishi cross ice pass. Can he do it? No. Finn knocked him off. Here come the Nords. Goulet over the line. Hit by Bobby Smith. That's going to be a penalty on Montreal Bobby Smith. Penalty to number 15. Bobby Smith. Two minutes for cross checking. Time of the penalty. Eight minutes 46 seconds. So the first power play coming up for the Nords, who are still looking to throw something at Patrick Waugh, besides a contract in 1995. Quebec. 
11th in the NHL on the power play at 22%. Montreal, a good penalty kill team. They've killed off 81%. Good enough for 6th in the league. Carbono and Corson, the defenders for Montreal with Rick Green and Craig Ludwig. The forwards for the Nords, Joe Sekic, Fortier, and Anton Snazny on the, Statsny on the left. With Brown and Muller. Statsny and Carboneau on the faceoff. Won by Quebec. Statsny to Muller. Now to Brown. Brown going to put the first shot on the net, we think. Left side high. Slapper blocked by Carboneau. Now Ludwig. And Montreal will clear. Or try to, anyway. Corson dumps it around and back out. Statsny sets this one up. A minute 15 to go in the power play. 10 29 first period. Goulet over the line, and he is offside. Canadians change. Walter and Ganey. The forwards, Chelios and Robinson. Sakic out there with Anton Stasny and Fortier. Picard and Lecision. Habs hope to clear. Sakic and Walter on the faceoff. Won by Ryan Walter, and Ganey plays it all the way down and out. So Lecision starts from behind his own net. They lose the puck. Robinson to 40 or battle for it. 40 or over the line to Stasny. Hit hard by Walter. Montreal's got it. Chelios, 26 seconds to go in the power play. Robinson at center. Takes it, taken away by Picard. Nordiques try to get something going. Stasny over the line. Fires and Wah finally makes a stop. As the power play comes to an end. How about that? 9-14 to go in the first period. 1-0 Montreal. So the fourth line is out. Thibodeau out there with Corson and Richet. Dufresne and Ludwig for Quebec. 40 years Stasny and Jackson. Will Moeller... And Marwa. Thibodeau and Fortier in the Montreal zone. Won by Thibodeau. Ludwig. Now to Riche over the line. Thibodeau back to Riche. Cross ice to Corsa. Now behind the net. Now trying to feed Thibodeau between the dots in the slot. He shoots. Mason saw that one. And he'll hold on for the save. 8.40 to go. How you doing, Mike from the truck? First line on, Riche moves to the left with Bobby Smith at center and Mike Keane on the right. Peter Stasny, Walt Podubny, and Guiton Duchesne to forwards for Quebec. 1-0 Habs, shot 7-1 in favor of Montreal. Gillis and Smith on the faceoff and it's won by Gillis. They'll take it up the ice, dumps it around for Kimball. Now Lata, sounds like a bad car company. Back to Finn, Finn... Left D, winds and fires. Wow, hit that one with a pad. The rebound goes to Bobby Smith, and Montreal skates it out. 8.09 to go in the first period. Riche clears it all the way down, but no icing. Lotta. As the halves change on the fly, both teams change. Marwa. To Kimball. Claude Lemieux with a bad hit. And it'll be a penalty coming up on Montreal. Darren Kimball. One-timer. Right side. Wah. Covers up. Montreal penalty to Claude Lemieux. Two minutes for elbowing. That was an elbow. That is how does my elbow pad taste. Lemieux just got right up there. He thought he was Kareem Abdul-Jabbar. On deck, baseball just confirmed, and we're really excited to have him on. It's been nice to go through the whole process of watching him create his game. This is a fictional baseball game, I believe. He's so excited. He shipped out orders yesterday and took pictures of what he was doing, and so we will have him on tomorrow about 1 o'clock, and we'll have that for you Wednesday night. So you can listen to that and watch the All-Star Game right here on Retro Sports Network. The elbow pad tastes like rubber chicken. Well, I'm sure it's pretty foamy. Carmino and Corson out there. Peter Stasny, Michelle Goulet, and Walt Podubny. 
Second power play for the Nords. one nothing Montreal. Quebec wins the face-off. Goulet to Stastny. Over to Brown. What can Brown do for you? He's going to shoot it. In the slot, Wah makes the stop. Rebound, Peter Stastny behind the net. Stastny trying to find someone. He's got Goulet on the left side. Goulet flings it at the net and scores! Michel Goulet! Quebec power play goal by number 16, Michel Goulet, his 12th of the season, assisted by number 26, Peter Stastny, and by Jeff Brown. Time of the goal, 13 minutes, 8 seconds. Well, it took five shots, but Quebec finally put one on the board. Goulet had a snap pass from Peter Stasny, and he just flung it over the shoulder of Patrick Waugh. Brown with his 23rd assist. Stasny is 21st, and Quebec has tied this game at 1. 6.52 to go. Opening period. And Claude Lemieux was eligible to come in. Goulet at Le Carlisse. Wee oui, wee. Oui. So Smith and Sackick on the faceoff. Won by Bobby Smith. Riche over the line. Back at Chelios. And Chelios and Jarvie exchange Christmas greetings. Montreal penalty to number 24. Chris Chelios. Two minutes for unsportsmanlike conduct. Quebec penalty to Iro Jarvie. Two minutes for roughing. Time of the penalties. 13 minutes, 23 seconds. Well, something must have been said about Jarvie's mom and army boots because Jarvie just took that. Those who do not like it do not get any S. Yep, that was that uh, Blue Line Hockey or whatever it was. So, Risha, Smith, and Keen out there with Green and Lawler. Stasny, du uh, Peter Stasny, Duchesne, and the Padubner out there for the Nords. In the Quebec zone. Won by Bobby Smith. Bobby Smith behind the net. They're all cycling around. They don't like what they see now. Riche behind the net. And he will feed Rick Green up the wall. Hit by Finn. Quebec will have it. It's Anton Stasny dumps it around. Kimball. Now Kimball back with it. Decision. Quebec trying to do something. Stephen Finn. Swines and fires, and Wah will make the save. 5.22 to go, first period. TV timeout. Shots are now 7-6 in favor of Montreal. So, on the ticker, Edmonton and Boston still scoreless in the first. Toronto and New Jersey still scoreless in the first. Pittsburgh leads the Islanders 2-1 in the first. Lauer, not Matt. We'll get to the goal for New York. 2-1 to one, Pittsburgh. Okay. Blades of Steel. That's what I was thinking of. TV timeout. Yes, it's called Ron's Cheat. Also gets in an ad for digitaldice.com and a check of the scoreboard. Play Blades of Steel with poor passing and unintelligible announcer. Hey, I remember resemble that. And fighting galore. It's the Jerry Springer of hockey games. So Carmino and Peter Stastny, we think, are on the face-off here. 1-1 one, one to score. Montreal and Quebec. Carmino wins the face-off. Lawler down to McPhee. Lemieux and Marwa shoves him in the boards. Oh, baby, what a hit. Lawler has it. Riche, the extra skater. They're in the zone. Lemieux down the right wall. Going to slap it. Lemieux, Mason with a save. Quebec penalty to Mario Merwa. Two minutes for cross-checking. So it'll be Smith, Richet, and Claude Lemieux. Robinson and Ludwig on the power play. Yep, blades of steel. Yep, no Steve Wilko, says the ref. Lemieux got hit so hard in the boards. He's going to have to visit the drive through dentist between periods. So 14 seconds left in the matching minors of Chelios and Yarvi. And Marwa will sit and think about what he did for two minutes. Gillis and Smith on the faceoff. One by Bobby Smith. Lemieux. Back to Smith now. Riche. Nobody really open. And the Habs will cycle the puck. The matching minors are done. Riche. 
Wants to feed Bobby Smith in front of the net. Smith's got it. One timer. Mason gives up the rebound. In fact, that was hit so hard it goes out of play. So 116 to go in the cross check to Marwa. Corson, McPhee, and Keane. McPhee at center against Sackick and Goulet. And this is Joe Sackick's rookie year. McPhee and Sackick on the faceoff. One by McPhee to Chelios. Chelios has got a couple people open. Going to feed Corson on the left side. Long shot. He deals and he misses wide left. Decision. Clears it out. Now Ludwig has it at center for Montreal. 45 seconds. To go in the power play. McPhee around the boards to Keane. Now Chelios. Corson. They, they pass it around. McPhee. Or Chelios. Chelios behind. Will shoot. Chelios. Left side. Top of the dot. Blocked by Michelle Goulet. Now decision. We're tied at one. Sackett clears. And that will do. So Quebec has killed the power play. Keen is back on the ice. And Bob Ganey's line is on for Montreal. Walter dumps it around for Courtnell, who's got the Montreal goal. Bob Ganey. Tough shot. Oh, that just missed the post. Marwas got it. Clears it out. Only to center. Ganey leaves it for Robinson. 2.32 first period. Chelios over the line to Ganey. Hit by Lata. Quebec hanging tough. Gillis breaks it out. Muller. To Gillis over the line. Chelios with a hit. Montreal's got it. Whoa, Chelios is dog tired. It's Naslin's the one that's hurt. Chelios will leave it for Keane. Hit by Gillis at center ice. Now Quebec trying to get it over the line. 93 seconds to go in the first period. Brown dumps it around and they'll give it up. Crean. 1.14 to go in the first period. Slapped in by Bobby Smith. Richet's got it. Over to Keane. Keane. Left side. Right side. Mason will cover up. Second line in for Montreal. Stasny, Duchesne, and Podubny for Quebec. Fortier will take the face off against Carbonell. One by Guy in the zone. McPhee now behind the net. Nobody really open. Under 40 seconds to go. Stastny hits Lawler. Quebec will change D. And here they come. Lawler, however, checks 40 here. Lemieux. Lemieux behind the net. Carbonell by the right dot. He's got it. He's going to back up and shoot. Trying to go low on Mason. And he missed everything. Left. And that will do in the first period. 20 minutes in the books here at Lake Colise. Montreal out shoots Quebec 10 6. Nine scoring chances to two. Two blocked shots to three for Quebec, but on the scoreboard, it's the Canadiens one, the Nordiques one. We'll be back with a summary and the ticker right after this. So, one goal aside for both teams in the first period, both on the power play. Russ Courtnall is sixth of the year from Chelios and Carbono at 536. And then Michel Goulet on the power play, thanks to Claude Lemieux's elbow, uh, his 12th of the year from Stasny and Brown. And that's how we got here. As we said, 10 to 6 the shots in favor of Montreal, 15 to 4 the faceoffs in favor of Montreal. Quebec is out hit, they have 6 to 5. And Montreal said five minutes on the attack and only had put one past Bob Basin. On the scoreboard. 
Edmonton and Boston still scoreless in the first. Buffalo and Minnesota have started. They're scoreless in the first. Toronto and New Jersey are in the first intermission. They are no score. The Islanders score, and Pittsburgh has gone off the board. I have no idea what happened there. Washington leads the Flyers 1-0 at the end of the first period. Pavaka with a lone goal for the Caps. And Hartford and St. Louis from the checkerboard arena are tied at 1, halfway home in the first. Ronnie Francis at 6.36, tying the game for Hartford. So starting lineups on the ice, Bobby Smith and Peter Stasny. Quebec and Montreal, 1-1 oh, tie as we start the second period. Smith wins the faceoff. Chelios over the line to Keane. Penalty coming up on the Nordiques. Keane fires. Picard blocked it. And what is it? Gaetan Duchesne. So she Quebec says it. Penalty to Gaetan Duchesne. Two minutes for holding. Time of the penalty, 18 seconds. So, early penalty call there. Richet, now Nasland is back on the ice after he hurt, hurt his foot. Chelios and Robinson, we won't change the defensive pairings. Gillis and Goulet, who's got the long goal for the Nords. Picard and Finn. Gillis and Smith on the face off out in the zone. Won by Bobby Smith, now Richet. Going to go to Chelios along the left wall. Chelios with a high slapper. And Mason got a piece of that. Caught with a pad. Didn't get much on it. And we'll have a face-off. 125 to go in the power play. Sackick and Yarvi on the ice for the Nordiques with Lecision and Brown. No changes for Montreal. Montreal wins the face-off. Chelios to Riche. We'll play give and go with Chelios. It's a long pass. Chelios through traffic. And he didn't cross the Champlain Bridge either wide of the net. Chelios has it. Chelios. Cross ice pass to Larry Robinson. Robinson will try the shot. And Mason gives up the rebound. Loved it. Riche's got it. Moves it over to Chelios. Back to Naslin behind the net. Naslin looking for Riche. Cross ice pass to the left side. Riche. Has a scoring chance. He shoots. Another beautiful save by Mason. The rebound controlled by Chelios. Chelios is going to take the shot himself. Montreal buzzing around, but they can't get anything past Mason. Chelios, long shot. Deflected by Naslin wide of the right post. And now Riche behind the net. Montreal putting the pressure on. Riche, a wraparound chance. On Mason. Oh, what a save by Mason. He leaves a rebound for Riche. The power plays over. Quebec kills it. Riche. Long pass out to the right to Naslin. Naslin's going to take a shot from the circle. He fires. Blocked by Sackett. Lecision and they clear it out. Montreal is dog tired. They'll change up. What a job by Bob Mason to stop all those shots. 14-6 to six now in favor of Montreal. Lemieux chips it back out all the way down. Now Kimball back the other way over the line. Gillis to Kimball behind the net to Lata. Lata shoots. Wah with a stop. And that will be a save and a hold. 16-45 to go a second period. 1-1. One, one. Habs and Nords. Got a question for the gang. Let's say that you're interested in trying out a brand new game. But you're not quite sure what season you want to get. I'm not, I'm not going to... It's hockey. I'm not looking for a specific season. But if you were to try out a new game, regardless of the sport, is there a particular... I'm not looking for a particular season of sport, but what would you get that you would feel comfortable with, if this makes any sense, to try out a new game? You know, do you have a favorite, you know, f again, not looking for a specific season, but, you know, is there you know, 14 years old or year that your team won a championship or should have won a You know, I'm just kind of curious to see how that would how that would do. D. Scott Howard, hello. D. 
Ganey, and we think Gillis. It'll be Sazdy and said. We'll face off one by Quebec. In the zone, Duchesne, left wing. Duchesne fires. Wah! Wood makes the stop. Now Ganey behind the net, leaves it for Dufresne. And Montreal starts it the other way. Walter, two on two in the Quebec zone to Ganey. One drive. He fires. Courtnell tips it, tipped it wide. Wide right, leaves it for Stasny, who leaves it for Moeller, and Quebec will change D. Tribe fan says I would take a World Series year. Okay. Stasny's line is on. Pedubny over the line, penalty coming up on Montreal. No, it's on Quebec! Quebec penalty to Stephen Finn. Two minutes for slashing. Time of the penalty. Four minutes, ten seconds. Oh my goodness, Stephen Finn with a dumb penalty. Quebec had crossed into the Montreal zone with their top offensive line players on there, and Finn got called for the slash. And I can hear from the Bruins bench, although the Bruins aren't here, typical Montreal but that was a dumb penalty all the way around, and Montreal goes on the power play. D. Scott Howard says, I generally go with the best team from my early teens when I first noticed the sport. Tribe fan says, I'm not sure I could replay it. The, the 87 Indians, you mean the Sports Illustrated cover jinx? Was that the year they had the Indians win the World Series? And they went 61 and 101? Yep. I would probably do 14, 15 years old, too. I think you know most of the players. I know what Dave decide, decided to do. I was just kind of curious on what you would do for a game that you wouldn't be necessarily familiar with. So I think we're kind of mostly in agreement there. Gillis and McPhee on the faceoff in the Montreal zone. One by, or Quebec zone, one by the Nords. Duchesne over the line, a penalty... Oh my goodness gracious! Montreal penalty to Shane Corson. Two minutes for interference plus ten minute misconduct. Time of the penalty, four minutes twenty seven seconds. Well, now Quebec is going to get a power play. It's going to be four on three for the next two minutes. Corson kind of held in the square dance with Duchesne. Got called for the interference. Corson. Oh, he didn't tell me. He just had a large derriere. I believe there was a uh, discussion on the proper proper qualities of good bovine manure. And about the third time that we talked about horse hockey or bovine manure, Corson got 10 minutes for arguing it. And Pat Burns is standing by the short wall and, and letting Al Red Sox fan have a piece of his mind. Al, of course, is wearing a Walkman and can't hear any of it. But bovine excrement is being chanted by the Montreal bench. And somewhere, somehow, in some place in Massachusetts, somebody by the name of Ratcast is laughing his derriere off. So four on three. Yep, he told him to have another donut, ya fat pig. That was Don Koharski. So Guy Carbono is the lone forward out there for Montreal. Two minutes of four on three for Quebec. With Rick Green and Donald Dufresne. For the Nords, it's Stasny and Yarvi on a rare four-on-three power play with Picard and Lecision on the defense. Stasny and Carbono one by Quebec on the power play. Stasny behind the net. It's got an all-day Lecision wide open. Tees off, and Wah will make the stick save. And so we'll do it again. Ludwig comes out. Too much time at Tim Hortons. 
So a minute 12 to go in the fin penalty and a minute 29 to go in the course an idiot. So four on three for the Nords. They win the faceoff. Staff, Peter Stasny to Mario Marwa. Carbono trying to do something here. Marwa, rebound given up by Wa. Bounces away to Podubny behind the net. Podubny going to do a wrap around here. He shoots. Wa got a piece of that one. Bounces away. Carbono will try and clear. Does he do it all the way down? So three good shots by the Nords. Walter, Chilios, and Robinson as the Habs change. 18 seconds to go on the power play. Marwa is offside. 15 seconds to go in the power play. It is now five on three. So a two-man advantage for 15 seconds. Shots 14-11 in favor of Montreal. Sackick, Fortier, and Sta Anton Stasny. And poor Ryan Walters is alone forward. He does have Chelios and Robinson behind him. Walter wins the faceoff, and they clear it all the way down. Decision, the, the power play is over. Wow, leaves it for Robinson, and now it's five on five. They change up. Everybody changes. Ludwig to Riche over the line all the way down. And that is an icing call on Montreal. 12.57 to go. You would think that Montreal would be the big favorite. 1-1. One, one. So the first line is on for Montreal. Naslin, Smith, and Keane. Gillis, Lada, and Kimball. The forwards for Quebec. And the Nords win the faceoff. Yarvi fires it. Wah with a save. Dufresne. Montreal clears it, but only to center. Yarvi. The sack kick. They dump it around. Yarvi shoots a prayer blocked by Ludwig. And Montreal starts the next rush. They'll change D. Keen to Chelios. Now to Smith. Nasland to Chelios. They're in the zone. Chelios trying to find Nasland open in the middle. Peter Stasny pokes it away. Montreal will change. So will Quebec. Duchesne clears it all the way down to Chelios. Fresh defenders on for Montreal. Carbono clears it all the way down for an icing. 11.04 to go in the second period. 7.31. And the misconduct to Corson. 1-1. One, one. So Car... Ganey, Walter, and Cortnall. Ganey and Gillis on the faceoff. Gillis wins it. One-timer from Gillis. And then is wide or right. Lawler. Ganey. Into the zone, but taken out by Quebec. 10.29 to go. Second period. Quebec changing on the fly. Over the line is Lata. To Moeller. Lefty shot. Wah saw that. And we'll get a TV timeout. Almost halfway home on a Tuesday afternoon. Montreal and Quebec. 1-1. On the ticker, halfway home in the second period, Edmonton and Boston are scoreless. Andy Bogus, 15 saves. Buffalo and Minnesota, 1-0 Sabres in the first. Mike Foligno, 8-11 with a goal. Alan Bester with 19 saves for the Leafs. And they are tied with Jersey at none in the second. We don't know what happened between Pittsburgh and the Islanders. That chips, I guess, are not supposed to beat. Philadelphia leads the Caps 3-2 in the second. Ridley at 15.03 was the last goal to make it 3-2. And then Tuttle 
Gives St. Louis the lead at the 11.33 mark. They lead the Whale 2-1 to one in the first. So Thibodeau and Peter Stasny, or Gillis, rather. Gillis wins the faceoff. Quebec doing a much better job of that. Kimball, right side. Wah! With a stop. And he'll hang on. We'll do it again. 40-year on the faceoff against Thibodeau. One by 40-year. Brown to Anton Stasny. Back to Mark 40-year. 40-year in a lot of traffic. Flings it at the net. Wah! Got a stick on it. Sweeps it behind for Dufresne. They'll change toward the first line for Montreal. Smith, the Chelios behind the goal. Smith dumps it around. Mason has it. Leaves it for Brown. Now Fortier over the line for Quebec. Smith with a hit on that one. That went nowhere. 8.50, second line coming on for Montreal. Both teams change. Carboneau to Robinson, and Brown gets called for the interference. Quebec penalty to Jeff Brown. Two minutes for interference. Time of the penalty, 11 minutes, 27 seconds. So Courtnall comes in with Carboneau and Lemieux. Green and Dufresne. Gillis and Duchesne, the forwards for Quebec. Still five minutes in the misconduct of Corson. And Brown in the sin bin for two minutes. Quebec is now out shooting Montreal 15 to 14. 8.33 to go in the second period. Gillis wins the face off to Duchesne. They clear it all the way down the other end. And with 15 seconds gone, Montreal starts their first rush. Carbino to Courtnall over the line. Hit by Gillis. Quebec with the turnover. Will they clear? They do. All the way down. And Quebec has killed the first 46 seconds on this power play. Montreal without a shot. Lemieux dumps it in. Carboneau to Lemieux. Lemieux misplays it. And Moeller misplays it. Only to center. Dufresne. Everybody changing now for Montreal. 7-10 to go in the period. Smith. Over the line. Duchesne knocks down Chelios. What a kill for Quebec. Duchesne clears it. The power play is over. What a kill. 4 Quebec. 6.34 to go. Lawler to Thibodeau. Ganey's got it. Robinson is nailed. Picks it back up. Now the power play is officially over. Ganey. Wraparound chance for Ganey. Ganey and Mason. Mason with a stuff. My goodness. Bob Mason has stood on his head. So McPhee, Thibodeau, and Riche out there with 40 year Jackson and Stasny. The shot's 15 aside to score 1-1. 6-16 one, one. to go in the second period. McPhee and Sackick on the faceoff. One by McPhee. Riche behind the net. I'm going to try and thread the needle for Thibodeau. He does. Thibodeau save Mason. And the TV timeout. 5.42 to go. 1-1. Okay, checking the ticker and a couple of new goals here. Edmonton, I want to see if I'm accused of manipulating this result. Edmonton from Yari Curry at 9.56 of the second. Past Andy Moog and Edmonton leads the Bruins 1-0. Buffalo and Minnesota 1-1 one, one after 1. Dino Cicerelli at 19.20. Time the game for the North Stars. Toronto has 2 on New Jersey here in the second. Eddie Ulchik with the second goal. Philly leads Washington 3-2 in the third. Ridley with the last goal to make it 3-2. And as we start the second period in St. Louis, it is still 2-1 Blues with Tuttle getting the goal. I'm going to take a drink. 
542 to go in the second period. 1-1, one, one, a good one from Lake Hollisay. So Thibodeau from Naslin and Riche on the line. And we think Gillis. By the way, Thursday's game will be from the form. One of those hockey night in Canada things. It's the Rangers and the Habs. The Saturday before Christmas, 1988. And all through the house, not a creature was stirring. Not even Pat Burns. Stasny on the faceoff against Thibodeau. Won by Stasny. Quebec will clear. Muller flips it out. Not deep enough for an ice. And Larry Robinson starts it the other way. Riche over the line. Chelios back to Nasland to Thibodeau. Thibodeau's going to feed Chelios. Left side, long shot. And that misses everything. Wide of the net. Muller's got it. Muller tries to break it out. Quebec. Over the line. They, oh, they were almost offside. Stastny dumps it around for Duchesne. Duchesne, long shot left side. And wah, got a piece of it. Four thirty-seven. A minute four left on the misconduct to Corson. Carboneau and Forty are on the faceoff. One by Forty are in the zone. Stastny to Jackson. Now Jeff Jackson. Tries to get around Lawler, and now Lawler takes it. Gives it to Lemieux. It's a three-on-one the other way. Lemieux, Carboneau, McPhee on poor Stephen Finn. Lemieux to McPhee over to Carboneau, and 40 years takes it off the stick. The other way now, Anton Stasny behind the net. Stasny, he's going to try and wrap it around. He shoots. Wow, with a save. Oh, baby. They thought that was in. Carboneau. For Green, the penalty now to Corson's over. Lemieux dumps it around for Carbonum. To Green, delayed penalty on Quebec. Green shoots. Mason saves. Quebec penalty to Stephen Finn. Two minutes for holding. Well, Stephen Finn... Is not going to be on any Christmas card list in Quebec tonight. He has spent much too much time in the box for bad penalties. He gets called for two minutes on the hold. So Riche, Smith, and Naslin, 17 aside the shots, and 1-1 one, one the score. Smith and Gillis on the faceoff in the Quebec zone, won by the Nords. Duchesne clears it all the way down, and Riche starts the rush. They're bringing up the ice. Riche over the line. Dazzling. To Chelios. Chelios looks around. Now Riche. Riche will try and penetrate on Brown. He does get it around him. Scoring chance. Riche. Mason gives up the rebound. And there must not have been very tall glass here at the Colisee because that is out of play. A minute 17 to go in the power play and a 1 1 tie. Let me do what I want here. Thank you. So Ganey, Corson, and Keene on the power play with Robinson and Lawler. Ganey out there against Sackick. Ganey wins the faceoff. Keene, one time on right side. Sh shoots. Mason off a pad. Can't hold the zone. Corson starts the next rush. 58 seconds to go on the power play. Keene over the line. To Corson, to Lawler. Corson and a Robinson back to Keene. Mike Keene just going to try to throw it on the net. He fires point blank range and Mason freezes it. A minute 36 to go in the period. 34 seconds to go in the power play. First line on for Montreal. We think Gillis and Duchesne. To kill this, it is Gillis and Smith on the faceoff, and it is won by Quebec. Quebec, can they clear? Gillis goes down the side. He's over the line. Duchesne, shorthanded bid. Duchesne shoots. Wow, with a stop. And a hold. 
So Montreal is three shots in the power play, and Quebec has one. A dandy here at the Colisee. Smith and Gillis again on the faceoff, this time in the Montreal zone. Won by Bobby Smith. They hurry. Chelios winds and fires, and he misses to the right. Riche, power play is over. Riche behind the net. Wants to go up to Naslin. Naslin. A slapper. Mason is there. 47 seconds to go. In the second period, 1-1. One, one. This has been a very well-played 80s hockey game. Carbono and Sekic on the face-off, we think. It will be in the Quebec zone. Won by Sekic. Yarvi over the line. Goulet, who's got the goal for Quebec. Low wrister, no. Wah wow, with the save, and we'll have a face-off with 28 and 3 tenths. Don't forget, tomorrow night, 8 Eastern, is a 1949 All-Star Game. At some point today, I will tape the All-Star Game special. You'll meet the teams. That will be a YouTube exclusive, by the way. And go through the first half of the 1949 replay. So the game itself, no home run derby, will be 8 Eastern, 5 Pacific, tomorrow night, right here on Twitch. With the pregame show pretty much being a YouTube special. And then Thursday, more hockey for you at lunch. It'll be the Rangers and the Habs from the form in Montreal. Carbono and Peter Stasny on the faceoff. Stasny kicks it out. One by Quebec. Duchesne. Closing seconds of the period. He shoots. That's wide right. Carbono. 11 seconds. I think Montreal's is going to sit on it. They do. And that is the end of the second period. A lot of action and not a lot of scoring. The Nords, 13 shots to 11. The Habs had nine scoring chances and couldn't do anything with it. We played 40 minutes at the Colisee, 1-1. We'll be back right after this. Well, outside of Shane Corson being an idiot, this one has been pretty clean, except for Chelios and Yarvey exchanging finished greetings. No scoring in the second period. 13-11 the shots for Quebec. Montreal's outshot them 21-19. Quebec is caught up on the faceoffs. It's now 22-19 in favor of Montreal. Quebec has outhit Montreal 7-9. They've outblocked them 5-3. And Montreal spent a lot of time on... The attack, but couldn't get anything there. Power plays. Montreal is one for six tonight. And Quebec is one for four. And on the digital dice scoreboard. Edmonton all over Boston in the second period. Four to one. Cam Neely gets Boston on the board at 16-41. Buffalo and Minnesota in the second tied at one. Eddie Olchik was still at the last goal for Toronto. They lead the New Jersey 2-0 in the second. Washington and Philly winding down in the third. Still 3-2 Philadelphia. And Hartford, Glenn and no, Anderson, with a goal at 136 in the second to tie that one at two apiece. So tomorrow, we'll be taping Digital Dice with the creator of On Deck Baseball. And I remember his first name is Ian, but I'm forgetting his last name. And so we'll get a closer look at that tomorrow. The All-Star Game for my 1949 baseball replay is tomorrow night. And hockey for you. Thursday afternoon at noon Eastern, 9 Pacific. It'll be the Rangers in Montreal, since this is a Montreal Canadiens replay, from the form the Saturday before Christmas. Thank you. 
Right here, it's 1-1. One, one. It'll be Stasny, Duchesne, and Podubny. Can't get enough hockey. Well, you know, Brad, happy birthday, by the way. Um, I'm told. I'll go on camera for this. I've been told that my ratio of hockey to baseball is much too slender in one way. And since I have concerned subs, <clears throat> we won't mention any names, we will say Massachusetts, that, you know, I have to up my hockey game, I was told. So this week you get, who's, yours? What we'll do yours? Anyway, um... That I needed to have more hockey on the channel. That I cancel too much hockey and never cancel baseball. Well, the All-Star game this week, we figured that we would give you two hockey games for the price of none. And leave the baseball All-Star game standing by itself. Just saying, just saying, because some of my subs are concerned. Okay. Now back to the game. It'll be the first line out for both teams as we start the third period in a 1 1 tie. Smith and Peter Stasny for the face off. Won by Montreal at center as we start the third period. Keane dumps it all the way down, and that is an icing. It's almost as if I take that comment as sarcasm. You're a baseball dude! I'm trying to make everybody happy. It's almost impossible. Anyway, Smith and Sackick, we think, on the face-off here. This one's actually been a good game. Gillis again out there with Smith in Quebec. Wins the face-off. Now, Lecision. Lecision, he's going to try and shoot. He winds and fires Chelios with a block. Can't get it out of the zone. Or he does get it out. Now, Gillis back over the line, over to Kimball. Darren Kimball. Oh, that missed high over everything. Robinson's got it. 54 or 56 seconds gone, by the way. Quebec has played a very good defensive game. Habs change green now. Lemieux up the ice. Lemieux dumps it around for Carboneau. To Claude Lemieux, a penalty's coming up. Oh. Montreal penalty to Mike McPhee. Two minutes for roughing Quebec penalty to Stephen Finn. Two minutes for roughing. Time of the penalties. One minute, nine seconds. So Stephen Finn has done the best impression tonight for Quebec of a caraway seed stuck in your gums. He's now got eight penalty minutes for the Nords. This time it won't cost them a power play. But he's just been one of those little gnats or mosquitoes that you just can't kill. And you really can't win games if you got players in the box for eight minutes. No, this isn't the Retro Baseball Network after all. Should have thought of that. So Ganey out there with Walter and Cortnall. Stasny out there with Podubny and Duchesne. Opening day for baseball in 2021 is Thursday. We can't wait. How you doing, Mr. Forsberg? And remember, the 49 All-Star game is tomorrow. Tomorrow night, she's going to have to wait. Ganey in the zone against Stasny. Montreal wins it. Walter's there. Lawler's got it. Lawler's just going to shoot. He slaps it. Blocked by Brown. And out of play. So... McPhee and Finn are still in the box for a minute 27. Ganey, Courtney, Walter, Green, and Lawler. Out against Gillis, Lata, and Kimball. Uh, and this particular season, W. Gretzky plays for L.A. Kings. Sackick out there with Ganey. Sackick wins the faceoff over to Jarvie. Out, out of the zone to Lawler. Lawler. Courtney over the line to Ganey. Ganey cycles the puck. Ganey gonna penetrate past Yarvey. Ganey drives and Yarvey knocked him off and Moeller knocked him off. Now here comes Lecision the other way. They'll change. 
Brown. Picard. Duchesne over the line to Brown. Fires. Wow with the save. Stone by Wow. Ludwig's got it. Now to Corson. 12 seconds in the matching minors. Corson up the ice. Dumps it in the round. The Quebec zone. Riche. Riche's got it to Corson. Corson behind the net. It's going to have to feed Ludwig. Up the left wall. Ludwig. A high shot. Mason with a save. 16.31 to go. In a 1-1 tie. Team it all. And Sackick, a 40-year, pardon me, on the faceoff. One by Thibodeau. Corson. They'll pass it around. Thibodeau to Dufresne. Now Riche. Riche behind the net. Thibodeau. Slapper. He shoots. Mason with a save. And we'll do it again. First line in. Smith and Gillis. Uh, Sackick, rather. And it's won by Sackick. Decision behind the net. The Yarvey cleared out of trouble all the way, but not far enough for an icing. Larry Robinson comes back the other way. Penalty coming up on Quebec. Naslin with a slapper. Naslin shoots. That's wide. And Goulet will touch it up in a fin. Quebec penalty to Stephen Finn. Two minutes for tripping. Time of the penalty. Four minutes, 36 seconds. So for Finn, that's his 10th penalty minute of the game. But Montreal can't do anything on the power play. So, Rishi will come in for Nasland. Robinson and Lawler. 15-24 to go, third period. 23-20, the shot's in favor of Montreal. Gillis wins the faceoff. Duchesne over the line to Gillis. Robinson with a hit. Montreal trying to do something. 20 seconds gone. Smith over center. Riche. Slapper. Blocked by Picard. To Brown. Out of the way to Riche. They'll set it up again. A minute 24 to go. Riche to Smith. Back to Riche. Nasland has it behind the net. And they're trying to feed Robinson up the wall. Robinson with the slapper. He shoots. Blocked by Picard. Didn't get past him. Picard moves it out of harm's way to Nasland. At center ice. They'll change. Lemieux to Carboneau over the line. Carboneau. To Courtnall, no shots, 38 seconds left. Courtnall to Chelios. Chelios with a shot. He fires, blocked by Duchesne. Gillis has it. Brown clears it all the way down. The power play is over. No dice. For Montreal, they'll change up. 13.25 to go. Ganey, the Thibodeau, hit by Sackick. Sackick gets free. He's got a loan on Wah. Sackick. Shoots. Saved by Wah. To Green. Changes coming up. 13.09 to go. Corson. Chips it around for Riche. Riche, right side. Shoots, wide right. Lecision leaves it for Moeller. Dumps it all the way down. Dufresne will take it. Bite your nails time here at Colise. Riche to center. Stolen by Brown. For Quebec. Over the line. Jackson, over the line now. Ludwig with the hit. Montreal's got it. They'll change. Lawler has it to McPhee behind the net. McPhee dumps it around for Lemieux. Now Carbidal behind the net. Cross ice pass to Lawler. Lawler will shoot. And Lemieux tips it wide right. 
No shot. Now Marwa. Yarvi. Up the ice. He'll dump it around. They fight for it. Sackick can't hold it on. And McPhee will grab it at center. 11 one to go. Ganey to Walter. They tag it up. Green. Now to Ganey. Kimball with a big hit. And Quebec takes possession. Lata to Kimball. Now for Lata. In the Montreal zone. Ganey. Two on one the other way with Cortnell. Moeller back. Cortnell. He's got one goal. He'll still have one goal as Mason catches it. And we have a TV timeout. 10 15 to go in the third period. It's Montreal and Quebec at one. So, we checked the scoreboard. Boston's made a game of it. 4-3 Edmonton. Cam Neely now with two goals. The second coming at 8-11. Calgary. Dougie Gilmore has a goal. 5-26 of the first. They lead Vancouver 2-0. Buffalo. Creighton at 14-47 of the second. Makes it 3-2. Oh, finally we hear about the Pittsburgh Islander game. Dal Garno at 142 of the second. He makes it 3-2 Islanders. Almost the end of regulation in Philadelphia. The Flyers lead at 3-2. And Hartford and St. Louis at the nearly the end of the second period are tied at 2. So Ganey, Walter, and Courtnall, Green, and Lawler up there against the Stasny line. Ganey wins the faceoff. Green to Ganey. Back out to Walter. Ganey hit by Podubny. Here comes Quebec. Podubny over the line to Peter Stasny. Gaetan Duchesne. They're trying to play tic-tac-toe. Duchesne. Rister. Oh, what a rebound by Walk. Bounces away to Podubny behind the net. Podubny does a wraparound. He shoots low, and Waugh saw that. So line changes. You need some Long Island in this ice tea. Right early in the day for that, right? 10 after 1. 9.04 to go in regulation time. 1-1. One, one. And the shot's 24-23 in favor of Montreal. So Smith and Fortier in the Montreal zone. 1 by Fortier. Picard... Loses it. Ludwig. They skate back the other way. Dufresne and Aslan. Nowhere to go. Dumps it around for Keane. Back to Naslin. Can they get a shot? No. Ludwig lost it. Picard to center. Stasny. He will have it taken away by Bobby Smith. Line change. Line change. Carbono over the line. Back to Chelios. McPhee. High shot blocked by Stasny and Anton and it so hard it went out of play. 751 to go. Will Buffalo ever win again? Oh, the Bills will play at some point. So Carbono, Lemieux, and McPhee out there against Fortier, Stasny, and Jackson. 24-23. The shots in favor of Montreal. And Brad says their hot sauce wins the chicken wing competition every year. Gillis out there for the faceoff. One by Gillis. Hit by Lemieux. So Montreal actually keeps it in the zone. Carbono. Going to play tic-tac-toe with Lemieux across the ice. Claude's got it. He shoots. Picard with a block. Kimball. Quebec will change their defensive pair and clear it out. Lotta just dumps it around to Gillis. And Gillis... Is offside. 7.02 to go. 1-1. One, one. Stasny and Ganey. And Ganey wins the faceoff. Dumped around to Walter. Gives it to Lawler. Lawler shoots. Mason with a save. 6.43 to go. Ganey, out there versus Sackick. 
Gillis will take it. Ganey wins the faceoff. Walter to Ganey. Going to try to feed Cortnell down the right wall. Cortnell. Shot in the slot. Blocked by Brown. Didn't make it. Lada's got it. Lada gains the zone for Quebec, but he's offside. Didn't expect this one to be a tight defensive struggle, did you? So Ganey in the faceoff just outside the zone. No changes for Montreal. Stasny and Ganey. Puck is tied up. Cortnell will skate it around and loses it. Marwa recovers. Marwa to Podubny. They start the rush. Lawler with a hit behind the net. And Lawler's got it. I don't think you're going to get a... Well, Montreal's a plus two. You might get it. This one's been very tame, especially for these two teams. Walter hit by Moeller. Quebec has it at center. Peter Stassi to Duchesne. Gaetan Duchesne with a shot. He fires wide right. 4.47 to go. Cortnell. Everybody changes up. 4.44 to go. Thibodeau dumps it around for Riche. Corson to Riche. Back to Thibodeau behind the net. They'll cycle it. Didn't like his options. Moeller knocks him off. Here comes Quebec. The line changing at a 1 1 tie. Kimball over the line. Finn to Gillis. Riche with a hit. Here come the Habs at center. Riche. 352 to go. Corson hit by Gillis. Riche delayed penalty coming up. Nas on the extra skater. Riche behind the net. Going to try to pump Corson out on, on the wall. Corson. Left side. Scores! Shane Corson. Montreal goal scored by Shane Corson, his eight of the season, assisted by number 44, Stefan Riche, and by Donald Dufresne. Time of the goal, 16 minutes, 47 seconds. Well, Gillis with a charge there, and that brought on the extra skater, and with the room, they just played tic-tac-toe enough. So Riche had it. He found Corson trying to skate to the neck, or skate to the net, rather, and Corson just one time to pass Mason, who stood on his head. So it was Corson's eighth, Richet's ninth, and Donald Dufresne, who doesn't get on the score sheet very often, with his second assist. So it's 2-1 to one Montreal with 3.13 to go. Sackick wins the faceoff. Dumps it around for Goulet. Back to Sackick. His shot. That misses wide and left. And out of play. We get a TV timeout. 2.51 to go. Calgary goes up on Vancouver. 3-0. Lanny McDonald with that goal. Buffalo 4-2. Benoit Hogue at 6 minutes of the third. Pat Flatley does a river dance. He gets his at 7-10 of the third. The Islanders lead 4-2. Hartford, Dave Babich at 1847 of the second to make it 3-2. And Edmonton leads Boston 4-3. Carbono and Stasny out for the faceoff. Montreal wins a draw. McPhee over the line, and he is offside. So we'll do it again. Ludwig and Dufresne on defense. Quebec wins it. 2.29 to go. Goulet. Brown. What can he do for you? He'll miss a wide right. That's what he'll do. Ludwig. 2.07 to go. You start thinking about pulling Mason here in a moment. Dufresne to Carbono. Dumps it around for McPhee. Ludwig. Craig shoots. Mason with a good stop. Mason can't control it. Sack has got it. 150 to go. Everybody's going to change up here in a moment. Nordic change. Picard tries again in. Pedubny over the line to Duchesne to Pedubny for the tie. And Wah will make the stop. Passes it behind for Ludwig. 
Lead line coming out for Montreal. A minute 26 to go. Smith clears it to center. Lotta back over the line for Quebec. Over to Gillis. Has he got anybody to feed? Stasny, the extra skater now. Gillis low. Gillis for the tie. Save by Waugh. Oh, a kick save in the butte. Peter Stasny's got it. Stasny, the extra skater. That will be off of Waugh's pad. That's a rebound to Picard. Picard, he's got it from the left dot. Waugh will hold on. And Quebec will call time with 51 and 5 to go. The shot's 27 aside. 2 to 1, Montreal trying to hang on. Here for two points at La Colise. Smith in Sakic. Sakic's got it. Podubny. Back to Peter Stasny. They need to do something. Duchesne. Duchesne in possession to Podubny. Back to Stasny. Sakic. Lot of passing. No shooting. Ten seconds to go. Podubny, five seconds to go. And Quebec can't get a shot off. Wow! They had 50 seconds with a puck in the Montreal zone, and they can't even take a shot. The Nords will win this, or Montreal wins this one, 2-1. to one. So the game winner is Shane Corson at 16.47, his eighth, from Richet and Dufresne. Shots 8-6 for Quebec in the third. 27 aside. And you can see the rest of the stats there. Montreal went 1-7 for seven on the power play. Number 3 star tonight, Michel Goulet for Quebec. Number 2 star, Patrick Waugh. And the number 1 star, Russ Courtnell. His goal in the first was there. That was, a, that was an incredible game. Corson with... 12 power play or penalty minutes. Finn with 10. And Corson gets the game winner. Scores across the rest of the NHL on this Thursday. Yari Curry, two goals for Edmonton, Acton, and Adams. As Edmonton beats the Bru Bruins 5-4. Rick Wamsley, never going to give you up, never going to let you down and hurt you, and shuts out the Vancouver Canucks 5-0. Joey Mullen and Dougie Gilmore, two goals apiece there. Buffalo, over the North Stars, 4-2. Benoit Hogue, the number one star, a goal and two assists there. New Jersey hangs on to beat Toronto, 4-3. Osborne, two goals for Toronto, and he also had a goal and two assists. And Kirk Muller... A goal and an assist for New Jersey. The Devils had 45 shots in there. Pat LaFontaine, a goal and an assist as the Isles beat the Pens 5-2. Flatley and Delgarno, the number two and three stars. Philadelphia behind Ronnie Hextall's 28 save stops the Caps 3-2. Kerr and Prop with goals there. And last but not least, Hartford and St. Louis. They kissed their sisters. A 3-3 tie. Tunnel, Mahar, and Hrekic with the goals. And so, as we leave you on this Monday, or th Tuesday afternoon, Detroit by two over Minnesota in the north. Calgary by six over, or seven over Los Angeles in the Smythe. Winnipeg and Edmonton. Quebec and Buffalo are tied for the last playoff spot in the Adams as Montreal squeaks past two. And Pittsburgh, Philadelphia are within one point of each other in the Patrick. We'll do the All-Star Special for you tonight. And the All-Star Game tomorrow night at 8 Eastern, 5 Pacific, right here on Retro Sports Network. Have yourself a wonderful day, everybody.